everybody, this is Rocky, and I just wanted to share a project I did um, for my upcoming sale. I bought these a few years ago at a um, uh, vintage sale. Was, my friends did it, and I in a garage, one of my friends' garage. And um, he, she had two trays of these, and at the time I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool to use on um, mixed media collages or notebooks or whatever that you that I mix media up, but I forgot about them. Just put them somewhere down in the art layer and out of sight, out of mind. And then I um, came across them a couple weeks ago and kind of thought it'd be cool. I'm trying to use up a lot of my washi instead of just hoarding it. So I got the idea to cover them and sell them as individual letters. Like if somebody wants to spell out a word like eat or you know, whatever. So I I used as much I I like kind of like the black ones. Like this is the that Dollar Tree lace. Isn't that pretty? Here's some more. I like the black and white ones, but I did kind of try to um, do a variety so you can kind of mix and match. I thought that'd be kind of cute mix and match some of them just to show some and then I even did like gold where's one gold there's one this is that new set from Michaels it's um that teal color and like a pink I don't know, here we go. There's another one like that. You know that Michaels, it's a, it comes in a tube. I love this one. But you can't do it wrong. I mean, you could use, it's just so much fun to, this was really a fun project. I think I'm gonna do both trays. I was just gonna do one tray and see how they sold. But uh, the problem is, is that there's not a whole lot of letters. Like I was gonna do my, business name rocks paper scissors on a uh, cork board just to have it to show them what they can do with it but there's only why is there an E here there's only three C's and I need all three C's for rocks paper scissors so I thought well maybe we'll just but this this is the cool part it has pricks on the or like pokey things so you can shove it right into a cork board. It's really cool. So if you ever come across, I mean, I do come across um, different letters like this. Even those big ones that Michael self, they clearance them out. It's really a fun project to do, and I enjoyed it. It took me about, I bet, two and a half hours to do all these letters. And that's painstakingly, no, it wasn't too hard, cutting them off because I could cut most of it with my scissors and then just get into areas like that with my X-Acto, super easy project. I did some glittery ones, so we'll see how they sell. I hope they do, I think it's kind of fun. Um, so thanks for watching, bye. I'm begging you to believe when I say